Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another Ghost Recon Breakpoint video. As of today, the game is fully released. And because of that, I think it's a good time to drop this video and give some pointers on how the cooking works in this game. Because this is very important towards the end game. Now, cooking slash crafting recipes takes a lot of preparation in order to do so. You can roam the wild and find all the ingredients. But if you want to go for something particular, I guess, you're going to want to search for different ingredients individually um, and some are harder to get than others so we're gonna look at the skill tree real quick and I'm gonna show you guys the three tiers of cooking so you're gonna start off with tier one which you have automatically then go up in the survival tree a little bit and you'll find tier two and you have tier three a little bit further up the survival tree once you have all of these learned you'll be able to craft from basic to extreme and it will be really useful, like I said before. So we're going to start it off by going, you have to go to crafting and find a campfire. Which campfires are everywhere. You can also go to the hangout if you want. We're going to start with basic. Now basic, obviously the ingredients that it costs are very cheap. You All you need is a basic sugar, I believe, for this. And basic sugars are pineapple, bananas. They're base. They're like, they're stuff you can find normally around anywhere. So that's what they consider basic sugars and you'll have basic fibers and you'll have basic proteins um, You'll have a bunch of different stuff But anyway, we're gonna go in and just plop it down some pineapple or breadfruit or whatever and you'd be able to craft it Now one thing I'm a little disappointed with in crafting recipes or cooking is it does say in the from the tier 1 to tier 3 that the tier 3 has a better effect at this point, it's very rare where it'll have a better effect. It just has a longer lasting effect. So for instance, the basic version will have like 10 minutes of effect and the extreme will have 30 minutes. For advanced rations, you're gonna need both basic and advanced of what you're gonna need. For instance, sugar, protein, fiber, like I said before. So like honey would be in rich sugar and then you'd have pineapple, which would be a basic sugar. So you can craft those up and like I said the agility is not changing really between the two that you craft the basic to the advanced it's just the time in between some rations have it so there's a little bit more of an effect but honestly like the 5% reload speed ones they're not that good. Now we're going to get into some of the complete sugars which you're going to need which consists of like pomegranate fruit which I mean, you can find those all over the place. They're one of the easier things to find for rich foods. And obviously, you're going to need a rich version as well and a basic. Put those three together, and you'll be able to craft up the extreme ration. So this consists of the same elements for every ration you do. It's just some will be proteins, some will be fibers, some will be obviously sugar. And you also find those that have a mix. So it'll be like sugar and protein together. But overall, most of the stuff is not difficult to find unless you get into the complete sugars or the complete fibers because those are going to be, you're going to have to search for those a little bit more. While scrolling through these rations, you can see the different effects. So you have like 5% reload speed. You have injury resistance, which actually goes up from the basic to the extreme. Like I said, some of them do, but most of them don't. You have like stamina reduction, you have even throwing speed, you have fatigue resistance, all this stuff, and a lot of it is useful. I would just like them to see adding a little bit more to the extreme, but even some of the basics are good. So, what I use all the time are the rations for fitness. They have a 20% reduction, and this consists of both the basic and extreme. The extreme has 30 minutes, the basic has 10, advanced has 20. So, and they're also not hard to craft. The basic version is only a protein, which you can get from killing animals or just any protein in general. And this is where I find rations, especially the stamina reduction one, to be really useful. When running around, I hate having to wait for my stamina to regen all the time. With 20% stamina reduction, you'll notice quite a difference. And you can run much further and do a lot of other stuff which is really useful. But then on the other hand, you have the dexterity ration, which I think is one of the most useless rations in the game. It's a 5% reload speed. Now for a basic, I think that's fair. But even though you go into an extreme, the best you can get, and it's gonna cost really hard elements to get, or food, I guess, ingredients, it's still 5% reload speed. So I think they can change that up. 
is a 30 minute 5% reload speed compared to the 10 minute 5% and I would rather just have a bunch of 10 minutes and keep doing it than spend you know rare ingredients on another 5% you have stuff like this, which is actually useful as well. Health regen, and you have some injury resistance. You have fatigue. I think these type of things are pretty cool. The health recovery, and some of them only have one ration. No, no basic, no extreme. Like the throwing one is a 40% throwing range, which is good for like grenades and stuff. And it doesn't cost that much. There's only one of them, and you don't have like a extreme version of it that costs a lot more and lasts a little bit longer with no additional effects. So you can see that right there, which is, I think that's pretty cool. I think the agility ration is pretty decent, compare, especially compared to the reload speed one, the dexterity. Uh, dexterity, as you can see, it's just, it's just not. I, I don't don't use it until they fix this uh, just use a 10 minute one if you want to have 5% reload speed which I think is not even that useful I you guys can comment and tell me criticize me all you want I do not think a 5% reload speed is that drastic of a change to your character as you can see I can only have up to six items you can change it to make it more, I think you begin with four or five, and I changed it so I can have six. But we're gonna go out of the camp real quick, and I'm just gonna show you guys some things you might wanna know when having these. So we're going to start off by showing you guys how to equip the rations, because I think that's important. If you don't know how to equip them, you can't use them. So you can only equip it for your medical or so your bottom left or bottom right of your items. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. But you can't switch it out for like grenades or rocket launchers or any of that. You can switch it out for your health kits or your health syringes or whatever. You can switch it out for your canister, but you can't switch it out for your rocket launcher, like I said. So when I click the items, you can see all the rations come up, every single one of them. You can equip one at a time, so we can look through and see the agility or whatever we want to use. We equip that, and then you can just hold the alt if you're on PC. I don't know what it is on console, but you can equip it, you eat it, and you have it for however long the ration is. Like I said, extreme 30 minutes, basic 10. Now we're going to do a little bit of experimenting. We're going to try first off the rations, having two of them at the same time, two of their effects. So right now we have the agility rations effect up, and we're going to add another to see if they can stack or if it cancels each other out. So if you were thinking you can have two at the same time and just keep boosting it, with a billion, then this is about to show you if you're right or wrong. And you can. So it cancels each other out. If you have your stamina and you put resistance, it will cancel each other out. If you're wondering what the other effect is to the left of the ration effect, that's actually just from the campfire. That has nothing to do with rations. So you can combo the campfire effects and the ration effects at the same time. And the last experiment is what happens if you die while having these effects? Will they stay or will they also go? And I tried throwing it up in the air, but I realized you can't throw it up at a straight angle, so it just went far. But when you kill yourself, as you can see, the buff is gone and you would have to take another ration. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed, then please hit the like button. So if you're not already subbed, turn the notification bell on if you want to see more of these videos in the future. 
Anyway, guys, that's all, and I'll see you next time. Peace.